Hi, it's Karen with RT Systems, and we're going to give you a real quick overview for programming the new digital radios, the Anytone ATD578 and ATD878 radios. And this one's going to be a real quick how to get it done for those of you that are familiar with programming. There will be a longer version for those of you who need more explanation. So let's get started. First thing, communications, get data from radio. It's going to overwrite, tell it yes, follow the steps, and complete. I would recommend that you save this file. If anything goes wrong, you can go back to the default file. So let's get a list of repeaters to get started with. Do file, external data, repeater book search. We're going to do analog today to get you on the air. We'll do digital later. Tell it OK. There's my list. Remember, this is not a true programming file. This is just a return. I can take out the Fusion, the P25, the DSTAR, and I'm taking out the DMR from this process. We'll do DMR later and create the file. This is just a quick way for you to get all the repeaters in your area and have something to listen to and play with while you're figuring the rest of the stuff out. So here's my file. And if you've done much radio programming, you would just reach up here and do communications and send data to radio. And when it gets through, it'll beep at you and tell you it's not programmed. Not a pretty picture. You forgot something. These radios have zones. They're kind of like those banks that you used to ignore in all your analog radios. Well, this time you can't ignore them. So we're going to call zone one. I could call it analog and put them all in there. I can call it 144 local. I can call this 440 local. And I can call this analog. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. Click Edit. This is my two meter local. Start here and keep wiggling that finger. Yes, there are ways to click down through there, but believe me, they all take the same mouse clicks. So just keep clicking until you get down here to 440. Didn't take long in the scheme of things. Don't know why there's a double zero there, but I'm just going to get it out of the way and tell it OK. Come here to 440 local and scroll down. And there's my first one. I had to do this in somebody's file where I had to be real careful. It's just about as easy, even if you have to be real careful, especially with those channel numbers. But for what we're doing here, that gets them all in. This is what's going to show up when I first select that, when I select this one. And now when I go to analog, I can take them all if I want. Notice the same list came up every time. A channel can be in as many zones as you want it to be in. The entire list is always there. Sometimes that's good, sometimes that's not good, but the entire list is always there and you pick from it what you want in this zone. You have a nice counter here that lets you know where you are that you don't overfill it. Tell it OK and pick your favorites here. Save it up. File, save, name it, communication, send data to radio. And when the radio comes up, you will have these channels to work with. So enjoy your radio. Remember, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. 73s.